going to make a snow globe like thing today and for that I made a mold of these two parts. For the end of my pin I pushed it down into some polymer clay, baked it and made the mold of that. I filled the mold with UV resin, well I am only going to fill it up halfway and then I put this little part in and I'm putting it into my UV light. When that's done, then I'm just going to take it out of the mold and sand it on the outside. And I'm going to use a tiny bit of UV resin on the outside and on the inside to make it very clear. I have the circle cutter that fits this little dome perfectly, so I'm going to use that later. I rolled out a piece of clay on my pasta machine in a sitting two, and I use a piece of cling wrap on the clay before I push my uh, hole cutter through so I get this nice you know, slanted edge all the way around. I use my little dome to make an indent on this little piece of clay so I know where I can uh, make my little creation and where not to. I'm going to make a little mushroom on a grass hill and I'm just gonna let you watch how I make this.
I'm going to make one more with a little pick on it and I start the same way as before and the rest you can just watch here. I'm using a little female liquid to strengthen this little pig's connection. And then these two creations are ready to go into the oven.
And now I'm just going to glue my dome on and I'm going to use my T8000 because I like this uh, glue. And it feels like this dome is a tiny bit unclear anyway, so I had another idea. Why not just put the UV resin into the mold and then dunk this little figurine into it and uh, make it a all UV resin figurine? Well, here goes nothing. I am coating this little figurine with UV gel and then I am going to dunk it into the mold and see what's happening. Let's unmold this little thing and have a look. Hmm, that turned out pretty good. And I am going to take my sandpaper and I'm going to sand it so I get it all even and smooth. Wiping off the dust and then I am going to glaze it with a thin coat of UV resin when this has dried up a bit. I'm using some double sided tape on a uh, ice cream stick and I'm sticking my little creation onto the tape and then I can just give it my UV resin. Here I'm showing you both pieces side by side, then you can judge yourself which one you like the most. I kind of like the one dunked into the resin as it's more clear, so I'm actually gonna do that with the piggy, what you will see in the pictures in a second. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!